unusual cases of natural phenomena. Hey everyone, it's Alexa, and welcome back to another video. You know about rain, sleet, snow, earthquakes, and volcanoes, but how about the things you don't hear about often? The things that happen in very rare corners of the world that are all nature's doing. Before we get into the video, make sure that you're subscribed and ring the bell so that you never miss our upcoming videos. Frost flowers. Occurring on long stem outdoor plants, frost flowers are the result of suddenly freezing weather when the ground is not yet frozen. Due to the cold conditions, the sap in the plant stem will freeze, causing cracks along the outside of the stem. The water within the stem flows out through these cracks and freezes the second it reaches the air. The pressure from the water seeps out of the stem and freezing causes thin layers of ice to create a beautiful ice petal to take shape. These frost flowers break easily and will melt as soon as the sun hits them, so early morning hours are the best time to see them. Dangia Landform Across the southwest, southeast, and northwest of China is the Dangia Landform, a colorful spread of rock formations categorized as petrographic geomorphology. Petrography refers to the study of rocks and the conditions that form them, while geomorphology means studying the chemical or biological processes of the Earth's surface. The petrographic geomorphology of Dangia is something unique to China's landscape. Part of these famous landforms include the rolling mountains in northwestern China. These mountains appear all the colors of the rainbow. People often compare the appearance of the Zhangyi National Park to that of a colorful, layered cake. Volcanic lightning. Also known as a dirty thunderstorm, volcanic lightning occurs when volcanic ash, rocks, and ice particles suspended in the volcanic gas collide to emit static charges. During an eruption, charges head upward and downward. To help balance the charge distribution, a lightning bolt occurs. This balancing process happens during regular thunderstorms too. The volcanic lightning typically occurs right at the start of the eruption, making it hard to snap a photo. Lenticular clouds Located in the lowest part of the Earth's atmosphere, lenticular clouds are lens-shaped clouds that form in right-angled alignments to the wind direction. The leading cause for these oddly-shaped clouds is human-made disruptions to the flow of air, such as bridges and buildings, but natural obstructions like valleys, mountains, and hills disrupt the flow too. For instance, when the moist air travels over a mountain, a number of waves may form on the downward side to cause the lens shape. In specific scenarios, several clouds form, creating what's called a wave cloud. Because of their round, flying, saucer-like shape, people may have mistaken lenticular clouds for UFO sightings. Penitentes Usually found at high altitudes, penitentes are unique snow formations that appear like long, thin blades of ice pointing toward the sun. The compositions get their name due to their resemblance to a field of people kneeling and doing penance. For these to form, the dew point has to be below freezing. The snow and ice evaporate rather than sublimate, which means to turn from a solid immediately to a gas. The remarkable thing about penitentes is that scientists believe they may be found on the Jupiter satellite of Europa. Snow donuts. Very specific things need to happen for a snow donut to occur. First of all, a clump of snow must fall off a tree or hill in the exact right way. There has to be a thin layer of snow that is wet and loose for it to fall onto. The temperature must also be near the melting point for ice. Then, a thin layer of ice needs to sit right below the top layer of wet snow. Once the clump of snow falls, the wind then has to be strong enough to move the snow in the perfect way where it will roll back on top of itself, causing only the center to collapse. Because so many boxes need to be checked for this phenomenon to occur, it is extremely rare to see. Fire rainbows. Fire rainbows are neither fires nor rainbows. Scientists call them circumhorizontal arcs or an ice halo formed by plate-shaped hexagonal ice crystals in cirrus clouds. Their colloquial name, fire rainbows, derives merely from their flame-like appearance and beautiful colors. The unusual shape and colors occur when sunlight is beaming down from very high in the sky and the hexagonal ice crystals get split into different colors, as with a prism. The one caveat is that this phenomenon can only be seen in locations north of 55 degrees north or south of 55 degrees south. Also, the sun must be at an elevation higher than 58 degrees and the sunlight must also enter the ice crystals at just the right angle, meaning if all the stars, or in this case the sun, aligns, this super rare phenomenon is worth checking out. 
Supercells, most common in the Great Plains region of the United States and in Argentina, Uruguay, and Brazil, supercells are the most deadly and dangerous of thunderstorms. The mesocyclone, or an endlessly rotating updraft, makes the supercell quite treacherous. The updraft causes unusually high amounts of hail, torrential rain, and extremely high winds. Sometimes called rotating thunderstorms, supercells have been known to spark tornadoes inside its mesocyclone. However, this only results in under 30% of occurrences. Desert Rose Two kinds of desert roses exist in the world, the plant kind with pink flowers and then the stone kind that looks like flowers. Today we're talking about the stone version, the crystal, called the desert rose. The term refers to the gypsum or barite formations that flatten and fan out to look like roses. You'll find these rose rocks in the arid, sandy environments in the Middle East, Spain, Arizona, and even as far as Australia, just to name a few places. These crystals grow from half an inch to four inches on average. If you believe that crystals hold healing powers, then you might be interested interested to know that the desert rose is associated with things like dedication and confidence. Sailing stones. Also called sliding rocks, sailing stones slide on their own, leaving a visible trail behind them. Without animal or human intervention, these rocks glide along dry lakes or playas as if being pushed by an unseen force. Several things need to occur at the same time for the stones to move. First, the playa needs to fill with water and must be deep enough to create floating ice on cold winter nights, but not so deep that the stone isn't visible. Next, as the temperature at night decreases, the lake freezes, forming those thin sheets of ice. As the sun comes out and begins to melt the ice, it breaks up into large panels, which only a slight wind can easily push around. Columnar Basalt Columnar basalt happens when a volcano erupts, resulting in a thick lava flow that eventually cools. If it cools quickly enough, fractures form, creating these amazing joints perpendicular to the original flow. These fractures and joints create columns. The rate of cooling determines their size and shape. Very fast cooling will result in small columns, and slow cooling will result in more massive columns. These rare structures happen in many places around the world, but most notably Africa, Europe, and India. Fumaroles Fumaroles, openings in the Earth's crust that emit steam and gas, occur near volcanoes. The types that release gas are called solfatara, deriving from the Italian word for sulfur. The name fumarole comes from the Latin word for smoke. If you come across fumaroles in icy environments, the rising steam may create a tall, fumarolic ice tower. A fumarole can last decades or even centuries if it sits right above its heat source. Frequented fumarole locations include Yellowstone National Park and Mammoth Mountain. Light Pillars Light pillars are vertical rays of light that extend above or below, or both, a light source, such as the sun, moon, or human-made things like bridges or streetlights. When the reflection of light interacts with little ice crystals suspended in the atmosphere, light pillars are formed. The light pillars are categorized as halos since interactions with ice crystals cause them. They should not be considered light beams, since light pillars do not occur directly above or below the light source, but instead are more of an optical illusion. Steam Eruptions a phreatic eruption, more commonly referred to as a steam eruption, happens when magma heats the ground. This increased heat causes instant evaporation of steam in the water present, and voila, you have an explosion. Rock fragments also blast into the air with the steam, resulting in low-relief craters known as Mars, M-A-A-R-S. In 1980, Mount St. Helens experienced hundreds of steam eruptions when the volcano erupted. Bioluminescence Bioluminescence occurs thanks to marine plankton called dinoflagellates. Dinoflagellates use luminescence as a defense mechanism and are also carried by algal blooms in different areas of the world. The algal blooms that host the tiny organisms create the glow when the dinoflagellates become disturbed, only lighting for a second, but longer if they're super disturbed. For instance, boats usually create the biggest disturbance and make a much longer glow. There are also many marine animals that share in the bioluminescence, including fish, jellyfish, crustaceans, and comb jellies. Eucalyptus rainbow. Native to the forests of Southeast Asia, the rainbow eucalyptus tree, or the Mindanao gum as it's known in the Philippines, is a tall tree with multicolored bark. These trees grow as high as 250 feet tall and 6 feet wide at the most. Once a year, they sprout evergreen foliage, and the outer bark is shed to reveal a bright green inner bark. Once the tree matures, its bark may feature colors like orange, purple, and blue. Fairy circles. 
A fairy circle, also known as an elf circle or pixie ring, are rings or arcs of mushrooms that may grow over 33 feet in diameter. Usually found in forests, these magical circles have had their share of folklore surrounding them. In German lore, witches dance here in the nighttime. An Austrian tale has a dragon putting down his tail in the spot where the fairy circle exists, ensuring nothing but toadstools can live inside its boundaries for seven years. No matter what the tale is, almost all of these stories warn against entering the circle, or bad things will happen to you. Eye of the Sahara To take in the entire marvel of the Eye of the Sahara, you need an aerial view since it spans 25 miles. The Eye of the Sahara sits on the Adrar Plateau in the Sahara Desert. Sedimentary rock comprises this elliptical dome with silicious breccia, broken fragments, and cemented minerals of silicone at its center. Humans officially discovered the Eye of the Sahara during the 1930s. In the 1960s, researchers theorized that the dome might be the result of an extraterrestrial impact. However, studies in the 2000s suggest the eye probably formed from the inner part of the Earth, uplifting to the surface, which then eroded. Before we get to number one, we have a question for you. Does your part of the world experience crazy weather? What's the craziest part of nature you've ever experienced? Let us know your answers in the comments below. One, Aurora Borealis. One of the best known cases of natural phenomena is the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. The lights come from collisions between electrically charged particles from the sun that enter the Earth's atmosphere. Depending on the gas particle involved, the colors vary from a pale yellow to a bright green. The lights occur around 60 miles above the Earth. Sometimes the Aurora Borealis produces a rare red hue up to 200 miles high. The northern lights appear best in Canada and Alaska, along with Greenland and Iceland. Southern lights do occur. However, it's difficult to see the lights clearly since not much land exists in the south magnetic pole and barely anyone lives there. 